G'day everyone, today I'm just going to show you how I'm going to upgrade my three vessel all grain brewing system. When I first bought this, it just had a boil kettle. Two elements here that are the kettles. It's got a sight glass on the side just to measure the volume and a tap at the front. So got the two holes drilled for the thermometer and tap. Now I'm about to put the sight glass in up here, probably a bit out here and back in there, um, just with a clear bit of the silicon tubing, because uh, the glass ones and with adapters and everything, I think close to 50 bucks. So doing it this way is going to cost me about three dollars. Um, just some of the leftover fittings I had. Um, so yeah, I'll get stuck into it. thing to do with the HLT is to drill a hole in the back to put the heating element in. Um, eventually I'm going to get a uh, weld on a tri-clamp, a two inch tri-clamp fitting for the, for the ferrule and then have another heating element um, that I can remove and put into another boiler if I need. But at the moment I'm just going to make do with this one, just drill the one inch hole and then we screw it in. Now another good tip is when you're putting plumber's tape on threads, get the 
end of the tape there so it's coming off that way off the roll and imagine you're screwing this in clockwise like that so you're almost screwing it on to the tape you hold it with your thumb you go around you can hold it with that finger let your thumb go and then you're on and that way you can keep tension on it and wrap this around and get nice and tight and you can actually go quite quick and go around and that way when you finish you're pulling it off that way and the tail's hanging that way so when you screw it on it's actually keeping it tight if you've come the other way and you screw it on it starts undoing all the tape and uh, it doesn't give you a nice seal and I'll show you if you go the other way this way you end up each time you go around you end up with a longer and longer piece and then you've got to sit there and you've got to wind this back on and it's a bit of a pain in the butt so always remember to keep the tail coming off off the top okay going away from you and then you're screwing this piece onto the tape so to speak and um, yeah goes on nice and easy so this is a HLT all finished we've got the tap thermometer sight gauge and then the heating coil in there so that one's all complete. This is my brew kettle. I just got to cut down the um, sight glass a bit. And then this is the mash tun with the bottom drain. And just about to install this float valve. So the float valve will be attached here and it basically just monitors the water. So as the level of the water drops down it opens up a little valve and then as it starts to fill up it closes it off so I'll never be able to overfill the grains and um, hopefully they'll never run dry well as impatient and as excited as ever I couldn't wait even though I haven't got a Herms coil in I've just done this makeshift loop with a bit of copper pipe hopefully it will hold a bit of temperature um, but yeah, HLT is getting up to temperature just below 60 and that will pump through through the sparge arm which is the float valve here I haven't connected the ball to it yet and then we can recirc down through the pump so excited got all the grains here um, 5.2 kilos of two row, uh, 300 grams of wheat, and 100 gram of oats. About to run it through the grain mill and use a trusty old drill. So there we are, we're all finished. The mash tun just put some like those yoga mats, a thin mat wrapped around, and then a bit of tape just to insulate it. Keep that temperature a bit better when I'm doing it out in the shed. So you can see where the liquid comes in, goes through the thermometer, and then in through the float valve. And then my HLT is all done there except for the Herms coil which I'm in the process of fitting like that probably down a bit lower um, that will hold the temperature out a lot better than that little piece that I had in there before so that's the last thing to finish off and then um, that's all done cheers guys as you can see it took a while to get this one out because the beer is ready um, pretty clear for what it is good flavor uh, was pretty good head retention it's been sitting out for about 10 minutes or so now uh, nicely carbonated so cheers here's to a good test run I'll see you on the next video